This is Stefan Schmidt for InsiderIowa.com and for um, the Nova Oceanographic Center. We're all interested in public policy and uh, in particular, of course, you know that I'm interested in several different policy areas. One of them is environmental policy, ocean policy, uh, coastal policy, uh, coral reefs and uh, in environmental issues related to the ocean. And we recently had the revelation that NOAA um, which has a unit that uh, is there to monitor violations of fishing laws and regulations, um, was basically enacting uh, and, and, and um, imposing fines on fishermen, especially in New England and in the, in the, in the Atlantic northeast of the United States, that were far out of proportion in terms of their size and number appeared to be somewhat arbitrary, uh, much greater than, um, than any penalties imposed on uh, uh, fishing folks in other parts of the country. And then we discovered that NOAA has a very unique and interesting policy, which is that when they impose uh, a fine on, let's say, a fishing operation, a, a boat or you know, fishing, a family that, that fishes, um, the payment of that fine uh, is kept by them, and it actually is kind of like a revenue generating uh, scheme, um, which is not well thought out um, and clearly will lead to abuse. I mean, when you, if you tell the police, you know, every time you give a fine, you get a cut from that fine, and you can go out and buy stuff and do things. Um, that is an incentive to enforce the law in a perhaps somewhat arbitrary way. So we discovered that um, NOAA was uh, using some of that money um, from fines in, um, let me just call them outrageous ways. Uh, they were buying um, luxury vessels to do their investigative work, vessels in some cases which um, described the, the actual ship as having uh, luxury uh, accommodations on it. Um, they took trips to other countries, uh, which may have been justified, but there were lots of people going and they were going to some lovely places, um, and it just sounded like um, it might be unnecessary, and certainly if, when Congress does this, uh, we scrutinize it and uh, <laughs> you know we try to get them to explain. So we're now in the strange situation, which is that NOAA, which is the agency that we uh, really depend on to regulate the oil industry, to, reg to um, <clears throat> regulate fishing, and to enforce coastal and ocean uh, policy for the United States, is, uh, is now under uh, a tremendous scrutiny for uh, unethical behavior, for potential problems in the use of their resources, <clears throat> and for, uh, at the very least, unwise public policy um, practices. And I think that is alarming because if you can't depend on, you know, the agencies that you have created um, that are there to essentially um, impose the rule of law and make sure that we are doing best practices, uh, especially on, on issues such as the ones we're interested in on, on fishing and on um, the use of, of coastal zones, uh, on environmental practices and, and, and safe behavior by um, industries such as the oil industry. If you can't depend on them, where do you go? Um, you know, we, we don't have uh, private posses that can enforce these. Um, and in the end, you are dependent on these government agencies. And so I think it is encouraging that the current, the Obama administration uh, has launched uh, some uh, major cleanup effort of uh, the practices of agencies like NOAA on, on some of these issues. And you and I, as public policy, um, students of public policy and people interested in it. We ought to keep an eye on that. We ought to make sure that there is follow through, that there is uh, oversight, that there is accountability, that there is scrutiny, and that we don't simply uh, pass laws, give agencies enforcement powers, and then let them in effect potentially become rogue agencies that simply go out and abuse the um, objects of their regulation. I, I'm a big fan of smart and of effective regulation. Uh, I think that that is necessary in a complicated society such as ours. I am also a huge 
opponent of corrupt and, uh, and perhaps uh, unwise and uh, essentially counterproductive um, enforcement of regulation. And I hope that in your professional life, uh, whatever it is you're going to be doing, you become part of my team, the team that wants ethics, transparency, accountability, smartness, and fairness in the implementation of bureaucratic regulations. Um, God help us, we already have so much uh, skepticism and criticism of government. Uh, we really don't need government agencies in their behavior to prove that the skeptics are right and that we ought to be um, opposed to government and that government is bad and bureaucracy is bad. We need to prove that bureaucracy is necessary and ought to behave itself well and is good and is our partner in, in making life better. So um, let's keep an eye on these issues and let's never basically trust, uh, but let's trust and verify as a former uh, very popular United States president uh, once said. Stefan Schmidt for InsiderIowa.com and the Nova University Oceanographic Center in Dania Beach, Florida.